Hi, my name is Melissa Smith. I am from the United States, but I've lived here in Nusia for 18 years, starting in 1993. I work at Nusia University. I think I should say I am blessed to work at Nusia University. I love my job. I love interacting with students. I love interacting with teachers. I can say truthfully that I truly love to be with students who are studying English. I really enjoy interacting with them in English. I also love to be with teachers who teach English. That will inspire them to uh, work hard, to study hard, because they can see the future when they look at their teachers. Even some of their teachers were my students a long time ago. Students? Yeah. 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 How are your students? students? I have a picture. Yeah. I am one of yeah. Melissa's students uh, several years ago. Now I am Melissa's uh, colleague. She is a respectable teacher because she has devoted uh, almost 10 years to education in mountainous area in the south part of Ningxia. She did a lot. She taught students how to read and she trained teachers. She is a quite respectable teacher. The first time I visited Guyuan was in 1993. I have a picture of Guyuan in those days and the main street through the city was dirt. And I don't know how many of you have been to Guyuan recently, but it is a modern city. I might even say it's a modern metropolis uh, because it's a lot bigger than a lot of cities in my country. Um, over the last 10 or so years as I have visited different schools in the mountainous areas of Nesia, I've also seen a lot of changes in those schools. Um, I remember the first few times I visited, the teachers would take me to the well where they had to draw water for themselves and for the students, and now all the schools have running water. They've built new buildings. Um, it used to be just the single coal burning stove in all the classrooms, and now a lot of classrooms have heat piped into the classroom. So I've seen a lot of changes. They've, they've built new cafeterias um, where the students get their free meals. Um, I've also seen a lot of changes in the children and it's obvious that their life has gotten better over the years. Uh, you know, I used to go into the classrooms there and I, I would try to get the children involved in the activities and they would sit maybe because they were cold, maybe because they were hungry, maybe because they felt a little bit sad because life was hard. And it is so much easier these days. Sure, they start out with a little fear of, a, of the foreigner or the stranger, um, but then slowly they warm up and, it's, and it, they have more energy, more enthusiasm, more interest in the activities that, that I do with them, that we do with them when we go into the classrooms. Um, that warms up my heart, even on a cold day. When you eat lunch, you only speak English, right? <laughs> you could do that. I consider myself as having two countries in this world. Obviously my own country, the United States, but I also feel like I belong to China. And I, I uh, want to cheer on China and especially Ningxia as they continue uh, with their projects in order to make life better and easier for people in Ningxia. I love seeing the changes that have taken place and I hope to continue seeing those changes in the future.